New York. I've always had a studio and I've always painted outside. In many ways, the two ways that I work uh, completely cross over and combine. When I'm painting outside, I'm thinking about, I get ideas for what happens in my studio and in my studio I get inspiration for what happens outside. specifically narrative about like pictorial to making abstract work that carried on the same feelings of you know sexuality and love and joy and lust and orgasm and uh, everything the universe it might look like letters it might remind you of graffiti or it might remind you of, of type but I believe that um, this language I hope that I'm inventing is one that is um, coming from a place that is pretty universal. A lot of people who see it, um, it reminds them of something that they remember somehow almost genetically or in their DNA from ancient, ancient times. selfies with my artwork, which is really cool and very flattering, and more people became aware of what I was doing. When I'm painting and when it's wet and drippy, I'm combining colors that have this dynamic flavor, let's say, it turns me on, you know? It, it, for that reason alone, um, maybe that's the selfish part of making art. Ha, ha, ha.